Some have expressed disappointment, of course, we heard there that Bucha Baruta is, is going away, of course, for complicity in genocide and not for genocide itself. Uh, what does it mean for those who have, uh, for so long, what, 28 years now, um, sought justice? It, are some telling you this is a case of better than nothing? I'm afraid it is for a lot of people. They got their day in court. They had the man who was accused while he was prefect or governor of the Gikingoro prefecture, uh, that he withheld any sort of responsibility which he should have had for keeping the people of that prefecture safe. So on the one hand, they are saying, yes, he, he was in court. We got to have our say. Uh, it isn't what we wanted. But the fact was that more than 100 witnesses came forward. And there was some absolutely horrific, heart-rendering uh, witness statements that it, even though it's 28 years since those massacres happened, to hear again what happened in Chanika being said, it was as cathartic for the witnesses, for the survivors, uh, as it was horrific for those of us in court to hear it. So, yes, people wish that he could have been held responsible for genocide, but the court just heard that he had incited genocide, and they also heard that he held meetings at which he perhaps incited others to commit acts of violence against uh, the Tutsis in his area of Rwanda. Uh, Catherine, this is such a high-profile case of a very high-profile man, and the saddest part is probably the passage of time here. Uh, you know, why has it taken so long to bring Lohan Buchibaruta to justice? You're quite right. He's been living in France, in east of Paris, since 1997. Uh, there really wasn't the political will for a long time uh, from the French government to bring these people to court. But Rwanda survivors' rights groups here kept pushing and pushing. There were several changes of government. And in fact, the final push really did come when uh, the new French president, Emmanuel Macron, took office just over five years ago and said he wanted to turn a page. He wanted to improve relations with with Rwanda. He specifically said, though, that France bears a responsibility for this massacre, but it was not an accomplice. So it was really that impetus from a new president, a new political class, that finally brought some of these more high-profile cases to court. And as you told us earlier, there are many, many more cases um, upwards of, like, dozens more cases um, that we may see come to court. We've run out of time here, Catherine, but thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your reporting. That is Catherine Field. She is a Paris-based journalist, and she joins us from France.